From News 5, here's your Power of 5 weather and today's top stories. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. We can do a little Friday celebratory dance. We've made it to the end of the work week, thank goodness, and the weather could not be nicer. Get out and enjoy it if you can. If you've got some Friday evening plans, you won't have to worry about any heavy rain or storms. It will be a little bit hotter out there, 85 for this afternoon. Humidity creeping up a little bit, but overall lots of sunshine for you to enjoy and mainly clear for tonight. Enjoy it. Terrence? Hope you're having a great Friday. Here are your top stories. A new inspection process has been put in place at the Ohio State Fair and already it's led crews to dismantle one of the rods. Inspectors say there was too much corrosion. Now, two years ago, corrosion caused another rod to break apart, killing a teenager. One other rod is closed at the moment because of minor issues, but hopes to reopen. Cleveland is trying to protect kids from lead tainted homes. New lead safe legislation passed to Wednesday that calls for violations to be tracked starting in 20 months. But with 80,000 rental units in the city, some people are concerned inspectors won't be ready by March of 2021. Cleveland Housing Court plans to host clinics for landlords, tenants and investors in the next few weeks. Parents in Canton say there is a shortage of daycares right now, so the city is starting a new program to address that need. The Early Childhood Resource Center received a grant to help train and cover the cost of licenses for new daycare owners. Through the program, mothers who are certified and pass the state inspection can care for up to six kids at one time. Check back later tonight for another update and download the News 5 app for updates anytime. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.